north of northeast corner of America and I've lived in Maine for 10 years now and the weather um, I can't judge the pattern um, as accurately as my my neighbors can so when I'm curious about is this a normal weather pattern for the area I go and ask them because they've lived here their whole lives this year spring came Oh, five or six weeks early, so early that we didn't get to plant our garden because we were completely un unprepared for its arrival. Um, normally, it doesn't warm up here until whew, June, easily. I've left here in June and gone on vacation to Florida and melted to death down there and come back here, and it's still cool in the, in the uh, evening time. Whereas last year, uh, uh, well, this year, 2010 spring arrived so early um, and we heated up so fast. Well, I've heard a bit about the ice caps that are breaking off, obviously, <laughs> and melting, and how that's affecting the animals that live there, because we hear a lot about that here. Um, as I said, here in New Zealand, it's definitely getting hotter every year. Winters are changing, and the seasons are changing. Like, summer is different to what it used to be, so it's now more humid and less, and more dry, less rainy, whereas it used to be more rainy here. In summer, and hotter, definitely hotter. We had the warmest winter that we've had in over 150 years last winter, and I'm in Vancouver, uh, Canada, which had the Winter Olympics. <laughs> and throughout the winter, it was mostly eight degrees Celsius, when it usually hangs around zero <laughs> all winter long. So, uh, yeah, our winter was really, really uh, mild, <clears throat> and our summer was quite cool. I've noticed that when uh, we go down to Florida, we get sunburned in five minutes as opposed to the all-day thing. Um, so I feel like the sun is a lot stronger coming through the atmosphere than it was when I was a kid. I remember um, 
you know, not having such a problem getting burned so quick outside. So I feel that that's a, an effect of the atmosphere. Well, we're definitely, um, it's definitely warmer here. I've been here for eight years, or nine years, and every year it's getting hotter, which is definitely incredible to see and very, very noticeable, definitely, and more humid as well. And then, um, as I said, the sunburn factor is just incredible. You can honestly go out in half an hour and get totally, totally sunburned. I used to be from South Africa before that, and it was never like that there. So the, I think the hole in the ozone layer is, is worse here or above us here. So we you know, we feel, I, I can feel the effects here. Obviously, the world has heated up and cooled down. It's proven, that's a proven fact. Whether we're causing it or not is up to debate. It does increase over time and decrease over time, but this is way too fast. This is mostly humans. That's a tricky one because mostly I did think it was man-made because I don't think we've been very responsible when it's come to pollution and that sort of thing. Um, and being in New Zealand, obviously, we also worry about the, um, the hole in the ozone layer because the sunburn factor here is, is just incredible. But then, it, I don't know, with some of the stuff I've heard lately, you do wonder if, if that isn't just the way the Earth does cycle. But I'm, I'm sure man has a lot to do with it, definitely records being broken left and right for heat um, in the summertime and to me it's obvious that you know we're on a, a warming trend and as I said before I'm on the fence as to whether we're causing it or you know how much of an impact we are having on it um, so I am concerned I'm very concerned that um, we need to really uh, look at and address the um, possibility of, of lowering what, what effect we're having on it. Everybody needs to change on every level, all at one time, to stop it. That's not going to happen. Um, I think it's pretty scary because it's incredible to see how the Earth is warming up and how the ice caps are melting and it does kind of make you wonder, especially with my children, sort of where we're heading in the future. Well, it's pretty severe. It's the end of the world, isn't it? Whether it's created by humans or man or if it's just geological, we're just making it worse and it's going to be the end of the planet. <laughs> Yeah, that's a tough one, hey. I don't know. Um, I don't know if it will end up that serious. I mean, I think. Oh gosh, I really don't know. I hope not. <laughs> There's nobody to step up and take control over, over in the government because media controls it. Corporations control it. Business controls it. Oil, gas, stock markets. They, they're who run the people of the world, and everybody's greedy. There's no control. There's no government. It's just corporations lobbying, buying the government. And anything that stops uh, global warming hurts the economy, so they don't do it. So I do, I do kind of worry about what kind of future my kids are going to have, but in all hope, I think that they are growing up more conscientious about their world and how to take care of it, so hopefully you know, from that point of view. But I mean, with all these natural disasters lately, you, you know, you've got to ask yourself what's happening there as well.